Hey, good morning everybody. This is another beautiful morning on the homestead and today I want to start building the cow shelter that I've talked about in a previous video. You'll be able to join me on camera. Let's go do it. My name is Simeon, S-I-M-E-O-N. I am born in Germany, lived there for half my life. The other half, I lived here in Sweden. And I learned to be a farmer for three years. I went to a farming school. But for several years, I didn't work with that afterwards. But now this year is a big year where um, my family and I, I have a wife and four children a beautiful family and my family is the first one on the homestead we're three families on the homestead my family is the first one who is taking the the transition from quitting the town shop and this year full-time on the farm right now I'm building a cow shelter and it's just temporarily because we're gonna build a real cow shelter a cow stable this year hopefully in the fall but this is just temporarily if you want to know why check out the previous video As you know, my brother is a tree climber, an arborist, and he's amazing with knots. He knows them all. Not really, but he is really good at it. And if you guys would like a video about some really good and helpful knots for the homestead, then write a comment below, let me know, and um, I will get my brother to do one for you. This tarp here, it used to be for a truck and it's very old, starting to break and there are lots of holes in it. Now it's so stiff and the sunlight has making it hard and, and it just starts to break. But I hope it'll last for this year. This here is the kind of stuff you don't want to put on camera or on YouTube because you have no idea how it works out. One man doing this on a ladder, I don't know. So here you see the boards are nailed on and there is a um, two by three milled lumber. It is uh, about 50 millimeters by 80 millimeters and we are going to screw those 120 millimeter long screws through this board through the tarp and pull it all against here
Hard to hold the camera and screw in the screw at the same time. I think I got to stay on the ground with the camera. If I am completely honest, I think I have to redo it all. It is really hard to picture this beforehand, but I think I need to do it all the way up on top there. So I can get um, the, the tarp in the right angle so that the rain and the lighter snow can run off the tarp. I will end up being here even if I have it very well with good tension, I think it will still not be enough of an angle. I think it'll be very low, it won't feel nice for the cows. I think I have to get it all higher. But I will just do that by myself. I won't put that on camera. I will just show you the finished product. Okay, now I changed the height, I put it up much higher, and that went really, really fast. That It only took me about 10 minutes because I was able to just take the screws out and then from on top where it's open, just pull it up and screw it in there. So 10, 15 minutes, that was done. And um, now I'm gonna show you my plan of how I'm gonna get tension on here and get it to stand here firmly. I'm gonna cut myself some pieces of wood and then I'm gonna put um, a 10 millimeter thick piece of metal in there on top that fits through these but this alone it will tear out when I will put tension on it so I'm going to put boards on here 25 by 95 millimeters so one by four on both sides and screw them together and get the tarp stuck between there and then put the metal in between there. I'm gonna do a two and a half meter high. Okay guys, that's it for today. I won't be able to fit more in this video. Come back tomorrow and um, I will continue this project and you will be able to see how it goes.